Today, I'm gonna tell you how to stay on track even after a belly burn challenge is done. Now, I've seen this in the last challenge where a bunch of challengers gained anywhere from eight to 12 pounds. And I'm not just talking about a few people, I'm talking about a lot of people. And I always say that it's not about the weight that you gain or you lose, it's about how you feel. But ultimately, if your goal is to lose weight, <laughs> Gaining this weight back is not helping anybody. I'm not to say that I can't help you get back on track, and I'm not to say that you're doomed, but let's just find a weight that you're good with, and then let's just continue to scale down from that, right? And once we scale you down from the weight that you're comfortable with, then we can start focusing on dropping that body fat and building on the muscle. So here's the things I wanna tell you, is number one, I want you to enjoy a few days. So if the challenge end on a Saturday, enjoy your Saturday, kind of realign on a Sunday, get back on it Monday. So I want you to enjoy a few days, but I do not want you to enjoy a few weeks, which we know it's if it's the summer, that can turn into a few months. If it's December, at least it's only one month, but ultimately just enjoy a few days, get back on track. Number two is that you need to track your food, okay? Now, if you're not there weighing everything and tablespooning everything and measuring cup everything, then eyeballing your food is better than nothing, right? So if you sit down and you have a big bowl of spaghetti, try and eye up how many noodles, like is that two cups, one cups? Punch it into your MyFitnessPal, punch in your meat, punch in your salad, punch in the beer or wine or whatever it is that you're gonna have with it. But make sure that no matter what you eat, gets entered into your MyFitnessPal. Now here's my thing, is that if I don't enter it first before I eat it, I have to do two burpees and I would challenge you to do the same thing. Number three is that you need to always be working out. Like this is a non-negotiable, even above nutrition. So here's nutrition, your base is working out. You need to establish at least five workouts per week because this is the base of your fitness. If you can work out, you can at least counter some of your bad eating. But if you're not working out and you're bad eating, we're doomed. That's the only time that you're gonna be doomed. Number four is that you need to understand that it's okay to fall off, but it's more important to get back on. And even just trying, like get yourself, if you fall off on a weekend, try and get back on a Monday. If you fall off on a Wednesday, then try and get back on a Thursday, right? No matter what, the best thing you can do and the best advice I can give you is just to try. And then the fifth, Probably most important is that you have a workout coach. So then now you need to establish your nutrition coach, okay? If your workouts are already established, you've got a great coach that's leading you through there, you're motivated, they know you, you know them, it's time to find your nutrition coach. And my recommendation is just to sign up for the belly burns because we know how tough nutrition is right? And I barely know anybody that's got their nutrition under wraps. There's maybe a couple people that I could think of they're on point with their nutrition. And until we get you there, I think that you need to pay the extra so that you pay attention. So there we have it, guys. Enjoy your few days. Make sure you're tracking your food. Always work out. Understand that you can fall off, but you need to get back on and find your nutrition coach.